cool. Chris, before the channel gets big, thanks for getting the Blockbuster rental case out from under Jay. <laughs> that was super funny to watch. That was, to this day, my favorite moment with the Game Chasers because Jay talks so much crap. Sorry, it's hard for me to talk and play, but Jay talks so much crap. So that day when uh, we went into that electronic store and that case was already half off and Jay was just being a cheap little bitch and I could just tell how badly he wanted it so I was like I'm gonna buy this just and you know Billy was egging me on but I was like I'm gonna buy this just to just to stick it off in Jay's ass and uh, it, it, it man he was he was so mad and that wasn't acting. We didn't stage that. There's nothing ever staged or planted on the show. Jay was literally so dejected over me buying that case that he didn't even finish the EP with us inside the store filming. He went out to the car and just sat in his car. I don't, he probably cried. I think he was crying in his car in the parking lot. It, it was bad. It was bad. Like He was legitimately mad. And the day that he got that case, because I held it over his head like a freaking carrot for a long, long time. And uh, the day that he finally got it, like, he was very, very, very freaking happy that he got that freaking Se Sega CD case. But do I regret giving it to him? No. I mean, he's given me a hard time throughout the years. So that was my, my way of getting one back on him. And now that he knows we're both capable of that shit... He, uh, you know, if if I hadn't given him that Sega CD case, you know, for a bottle of Tawaka, which I took a freaking $55, okay, a, a 1.75 liter of Tawaka is maybe $45. I paid $100 for that fucking case. So immediately I'm taking, and I said a fucking turtle, uh, the, the original agreement was a Turtles in Time, which is a $50 game, on retail, you know, through a reseller. And a bottle of Tawaka, which is $45. So there's $95, you know, $5 tax, give or take, right? So, no, I didn't get the fucking pineapple juice. Paul, he's a little bitch. He never gave me my, he never got my. Thank you for subscribing, Pad, Padula3. Um, I never got my damn, I never got my damn pineapple juice from the bastard. But, uh. You know, and he never came through on the freaking Turtles in Time, which I didn't have, and that was the game that I was wanting. So basically, he cheaped out on me and freaking gave me a $45 bottle, $45 bottle of Tawaka and then just went about his merry way after I gave him the seed case. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll find you a, a Turtles in Time. I'll find you a Turtles in Time. Well, that didn't happen. I, I ended up buying my own copy of Turtles of Time at Retropalooza from a reseller who, by the way, gave me a freaking good deal on it and I bought it for like 35 bucks for my clean copy of Turtles in Time. But, yeah, ne so basically he got that freaking Sega CD case for 45 fucking bucks. However, and, and here we go back into the back and forth. When I freaking... When he found those display cabinets at Six Flags Mall, he didn't have a way to get them anywhere. He didn't have, or he didn't own a truck. He didn't have a way to transport them. So who does he call me? Well, I'm like, well, I told him right off the bat. Well, if I come pick them up, I'm getting fucking one of them because you didn't fucking give me my turtles in time. So the way it worked out was I got me a KB Toy Store N64 display. So. I guess uh, it all worked out. I mean, I'd rather have, I'd rather have the KB. I mean, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. Yeah, I'd rather have the KB Toy Store display than the forty-five dollar Turtles in Time. You know, I can find a turtle. I can go buy a, a Turtles in Time off of eBay or you know wherever. But you're not gonna find a KB Toy Store N64 display out there floating around. I mean, that's that's pretty hardcore so 
you know, it, it all worked out. There's no hard feelings. You know, he got what he wanted. I ended up getting what I wanted. I just didn't know that we were going to find that yet. So I'm glad that he got the case because he's got a case. And by the way, I have the top. I have the – hold on. I'll, sh I'll show you all. Wait just a second. I guess he better be nice because I still have his, the main piece to his freaking PlayStation display. Because he wants me to freaking fix it and restore it because he sprayed some sort of, he's a dumbass, he sprayed some sort of chemical on it and uh, it kind of messed up the plastic so I'm going to have to like sand the plastic down maybe a little bit and put in some uh, filler primer but uh, eventually if he ever gets over here because I'm not going to be the one that sands on this for the rest of my life if he ever comes over here I'm going to set him up and show him how to restore this and I will get that on film so y'all can see the process behind it but yeah basically that's that's like the the cherry on top of his crown jewel for his PlayStation display. So, beat your meat to Jay's defeat. Eight bit, you're you are not wrong. Jay does have his place. No one's bad mouthing Jay. I, I will talk shit about. Well, I can talk shit about him because he knows me. But uh, I'm, you know, even if he heard this, he knew I'm not talking shit about him. Dude, Jay is phenomenal at what he does. Billy is the editor of the Game Chasers. Billy does the video and the audio, and Jay is very much administrative mailing things out, people's addresses, uh, you know, calendar dates. Uh, Jay is excellent at that, and that is why the Game Chasers, Billy and Jay, work so well together because Billy is one cog and Jay is the other cog, and together that that's how this all works because you couldn't have one without the other. It just it wouldn't work. I mean, look, look at Jay's channel. Jay's channel is Saw a couple of videos the other day. I was like, "Bro, like we we need to get you like a wireless lapel mic so you can your audio can your audio game like you've got twenty he's got twenty five thousand subscribers on his channel Shady the Shady J Show, and he shoots stuff off his phone like I do. But the stuff I shoot off my phone in the audio like I'm getting a lot better at that. Like I'm still not going to go out and buy a professional camera. I'm still going to shoot off my phone." But I still edit all my own videos and do everything else. So uh, Jay might need to take a, a play or two out of my playbook. You know, he's going to have to. He's Like Jay, when Jay streams, he only streams to YouTube. Right now, I'm streaming to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. I'm like, how do you have 25,000 subscribers and you don't know how to stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time? Like, how, how is this? Like, I'm, I'm just a redneck here. I shouldn't know how to do all this. But... I don't know. J Jay's awesome. Jay's my boy. I'm not. I'm not gonna fucking bad mouth him. He's just. I don't know. I wear jeans and Jay wears sweatpants. There's your difference. <laughs> 